Hi guys, so XFL are going into playoffs, so I'm going to be starting doing some season reviews, uh, and uh, we're going to start with the worst team, the Orlando Guardians, and they had really a horrible season, uh, we'll see if they do, the, they, they do better next year, if there is a next year, but I'm pretty sure they will, so record, they're 1-9, they finished 1 win, 9 loss, 4th in the South, um, at home they're 1-4, on the road, zero and five against their division, zero and six. So not really great numbers. Uh, let's get into the week to, by week. So week one, they lost thirty-three to twelve against the Roughnecks. Not very close. Week two, they lose thirty to twelve against Brahma. So two two team uh, uh, two divisional uh, teams that beat them really badly. Then they go against the Renegades, and uh, they lose 10-9. to 9. They're actually very close against the Renegades there, but they still lose. Week 4, they go back against the Roughnecks, and the same fate. They lose 44-16, to 16. So, it's, so they got dominated by the Roughnecks. Then week 5, they, they lose a close one against the Vipers, 35-32. So right now, they're 1-2-3-4-5. Five zero and five so far in five games. Then in week six they play uh, the Sea Dragon. They lost. They lose twenty six to nineteen. Really horrible. The only one they get. This is what's surprising. Is against the best team in the league, the DC Defenders. That was actually the first loss of the DC the DC Defenders, and they win thirty seven thirty six. A very close one, but they won it, and. Um, it's a really good win for them, but still, just one win in the season is not good. Week 8, they lose a very close one again against the Renegades, 18-16. to So two games against the Renegades, very close. Then they lose another close one, 25-23 to against the Brahmas. And then week 10, the last week, they get demolished by Battlehawks, 53-28. to So a really bad season. Uh, they didn't... Finish with a win. They didn't finish very well, so we'll see how, how that does in the next season. So quarterback Quentin Dormady, that's their quarterback. A thousand five hundred and seven yards, ten touchdown, five interception. He got sacked twenty times. That's really that's horrible. Uh, Paxton Lynch, seven hundred and forty eight yards, four touchdown, one interception. So the backup. Um, for rushing, I put Devin Darrington, 294 yards, for touchdown. When he, that's not enough for rushing, for running back. So they're gonna have to um, maybe get some running backs better than that. Receiving Cody Latimer, 593 yards, for touchdown. Even those numbers are not that great. Uh, defense Jacoby Jones, 3.5 sacks. Uh, not very great, but great season so f for him though. Team total fourteen sacks, not very great. Uh, Terrence Plummer twenty seven tackles. The team all around three interception, not enough. Uh, special team kickoff return Dedrick Thomas with five hundred and forty three yards. Field goals, uh, Jose Bergale had 6 out of 9. They didn't do a lot of field goals. 18 points. So he did 18 points uh, out of it. So so basically this is the review. It's not a big review, but um, it is a review for them. And uh, we'll see if the Orlando Guardians uh, make the playoff next year. So uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon with more videos. See you guys.